Harry have been working very, very hard to get themselves ready to weave their minds and bodies and souls together. And you're very important because you're a community of people who love them and care for them. When a marriage occurs, and this is one of a miracle, because of the work they've done, there's a synergy that occurs. Synergy means that one plus one is greater than two. And even though, Joel, you majored in math, <laughs> and you're working with people on SATs, and if they put that one plus one is greater than two, it would probably be dangerous for them. <laughs> and so you've had to let go. And you've met a woman, Carrie, who has enough fire to assist you in letting go. Now, they often say that a community helps raise a child. And in this case, in this situation, a community helps raise the birthing of a marriage. Wow. I vow to let go and let God. You remind me that creating and living are the same thing. I promise to sing. I promise to listen and hear your song. I promise to shake our tree, <laughs> <laughs> to push our roots in the ground, <laughs> to shoot our branches up to the sky. Wow. I promise. I promise to flash you every chance I get. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in public. Woo! <laughs> I vow to continue the pursuit for the perfect slice of lemon meringue and cherry pie. <laughs> I cannot promise I won't kiss your, kick your ass in rummy cube. Ah. <laughs> I admit I've used advanced wizarding in conjuring up the face tile from the bag. <laughs> I promise to be faithful to you. And by that, I don't just mean my fidelity. I vow to faithfully walk with you in Christ and love. I promise to obey the 11th commandment. Joel, I promise to be your partner, your friend, your lover, your other. If you cannot speak, I will be your mouth. <laughs> if you cannot hear, I will be your ears. If you cannot see, I will walk forward with you. Further up and further <laughs> in. Joel, I make these promises to you in this time, in this space, and beyond for as many days as possible. I love you. I name you myself.
keeper of my other heart. I vow to lay this new self, born today, down with us on the burning ground, <laughs> to stay with you in the fire as God's Holy Spirit burns away our old selves, and to be reborn with you, to bear witness as you become the woman God has created you to be. I vow to help you along the way, in whatever way I can, for as many days as possible. And when it is not possible, I will trust God with you until it is possible again. This is my sacred vow. So, oh. Carrie, do you commit to take the depth of your love and fire and continue to deepen it even when you feel like there's a fire inside that you might burn up? <laughs> Are you willing to do that? And are you willing to accept it back? I do. Joel, are you willing to take the fire that burns deeply in your heart and allow it to expand and deepen even when it feels like you're going to burn up? as well as to keep your heart open to receive the fire that you receive from Carrie. I do. So, No one can lift the damn thing. I'll say that again. <laughs> Book of love is long and boring. It's full of charts, and facts, and figures, and instructions for dancing. Transcendental and 
Some of it's just really dumb. <laughs> of love is long and boring, written very long ago. It's full of flowers and heart-shaped boxes, stuff we're all too young to know. Is there anybody here who has just cause or reason to believe that these two, Harry and Joel and Joel and Carrie, are not to be married today? If so, <laughs> you've seen their fire, so be careful about it, but this is a moment of truth. So if there's anybody, please speak or forever hold your peace. Okay. So 
with the power vested to me by spirit and God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Woohoo! Yeah. Ha! Furthermore, 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 there's a furthermore here. I've been waiting with for a while. You may now kiss each other. Present <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Joel and Carrie McGuinn. Oh, 